Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from Edward. It's a brushing set in 170 second scale which should be handy with the recent release in the same scale obviously as 199 and we reviewed this aircraft model so that's why this release might be interesting if you saw the previous video because here we get a cockpit in 170 second scale and this one should be handy for or uh, aircraft version with a bubble canopy. Obviously there will be a different type for the uh, simple version of the canopy. And as you can see, this is a commercial release, so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you will see in this video review. What is quite funny at the first sight is that this box is uh, thicker than the original release, so basically you won't be able to hide it in the original uh, Mezek uh, limited edition, but I think there will be also a profit pack, so maybe in the profit pack it will be able to fit inside so you can see also here the 3d picture kit number is 6722989 and we also have price tag here so it's 20 euros which is rather reasonable for the resin set which will be upgrading your small aircraft so uh, first of all here on the rear side you will find also some description as you can see it's sealed with a tape with a clear tape so I will use the knife in order to cut through and open it, so just give me a second and we will take a closer look together in order to understand what is actually supplied here. By the way, another interesting change is that we have... Oh, seals are also on the top. Okay, I will cut them as well because they were not present there. But that may be connected with this change which I was uh, going to mention. As you can see, uh, Edward started using the thinner cardboard with a glossy finish. I'm not sure if it's good or bad because as you can see to me, uh, all the parts arrived intact. There is no significant damage, but still it's rather interesting change from the previous thicker cardboard box which were used in the previous releases. And as for the space, everything was preserved with two layers of foam, so here is another one, here is one more on the bottom, and that's really a smart design I would say, it should preserve all these tender resin parts. And now I'm going to take them out, so in total we have three plastic bags here. And just to remind you, there was a small sign which was written print and it means that these parts are 3D printed, they are not casted out of resin. And this is really cool because uh, Edward using the new technologies and it really amazes me what can be done today with a 3D printer. So here, for example, you can see the cockpit floor which is molded together with a, or let's say printed together with a pilot seat. And it looks really amazing in my opinion. You just have to remove the supports and you'll be good to go. But that's not all. We continue with another bag of the plastic parts. So just give me a second. Okay. So what do we have here? Here we have more of the tiny parts. It's quite amazing that these rudder pedals, they are also 3D printed. If camera view focus, you understand what I'm talking about. Yeah, now you should be able to see. So these are the pedals. And it is obvious that you won't have to replicate them with P parts as it was required before. Here you have them 3D printed. Next, we continue with several versions of the rear wall as you can see you have to choose the one you would like to use i guess it will also depend on the canopy type because it is interdependent as for the cockpit walls here are the r and again the uh, i would say the features which are here inside they look kind of sharper in comparison with the typical resin maybe it's me maybe you will also see this change and the final set of parts here. So here we have the control stick, instrument panel, and also some minor control elements. Again, it looks quite impressive and you can see the size in comparison with my fingertip. These are really tiny and yet they're printed in a very nice quality. But that's not all, because we also have a third plastic bag with decals, clear film and PE fret. And I will take them out in a second and I will show you all the components. So, first of all, the small film. Here it is. This one will be used for the target site. And you can see that it's a typical film, nothing unusual here. 
Next we continue with decals, obviously these are printed in Edward. We have here several versions of the instrument panel and printing quality looks nice, so it's just a matter of careful application and you'll be good to go. And of course, P fret. Actually, as far as you can see, this is not a P fret, this is steel fret, let's say. And the main difference is the thickness of this thing, here you can see it. It might be handy for the seat belts because it will be easier to place them around the pilot seat. And this is really important in a small scale so that it will look more realistic in comparison with typical P parts. But that's not all, of course, we also need the assembly manual, so I will move all these tiny parts aside. Let's place it here, close the lenses, zoom out a bit. Okay, so here we can start. And the assembly manual, I would say it is typical for this brand and this series as well. And here we have first steps. Obviously you will have to modify the original plastic and this red color means that we have to send off what is pre-molded on the original Fizzwatch house. Next, we continue with instrument panel. Here you will have to decide whether you would like to use P parts or you would like to use decals. And also you have to install the target site, which as you remember was on the last uh, base. Next, we also work on the cockpit walls. I can see that there are some parts which will be replicated with PE elements, so be ready for this. Definitely you have to use tweezers, because otherwise it will be a bit tricky to get them into the right spot. And of course, maybe you need a sharp pointed brush, because it's also important for the proper application. By the way, note that here we have a recommendation on how thick this wall should be. It's uh, 0.65 millimeters. And okay, I shouldn't flip over this page because here we have quite interesting design and the next step is actually here. So we continue with the pilot uh, seat straps and also here you have to separate all these resin supports in order to install this front column which is molded or printed together with rudder pedals as you remember. Next we continue with instrument panel, we install cockpit walls into the place. So as you remember they will be installed into this area where you will send down the original plastic on the Fizzwatch house. And on the rear side you can see also the final assembly step. So here we continue with original plastic parts. As far as you can see this one is a resin which we saw before with this support. And it should be more or less straight fit as long as you will preserve the necessary thickness for the cockpit walls. And as you can see even the standard canopy is used here by the way this bubble canopy so there is nothing to worry about. And on the last page you can see the parts map as well as the paints chart and some safety devices together with the address of the manufacturer. So this set should be already available and in my opinion this is a quite interesting addition for the small scale aircraft especially for those who are brave enough to work on such model. Of course I'll be happy to hear your opinion about such release. Do not forget to write it in the comment section below. Are you usually getting some additional kits for your small scale aircraft or are you just going for out of the box approach? And of course if you like this video press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and bye.